Heidi ho, neighbor. And if you got that reference, you just dated yourself, but uh, don't worry about it. All right, I'm gonna show you how to save a file from vr.vex.com uh, on your Chromebook. I went downstairs and swindled my wife's Chromebook. Uh, it is an old one. It doesn't even get updates anymore. Um, so if it works on this one, I'm assuming it should work just fine on a newer Chromebook that, that are still supported. First thing I wanna do before I save any files is actually change the name of the project. Um, I'm going to call this uh, a one second square. Okay, and then click rename. And then I'll click file, save to your device. And you'll notice it just downloads it immediately. Now, if this little flag, little flag down here in the lower right stays open, you can click show in folder. But chances are you're just going to click save and you're done, right? You, it's out of sight, out of mind. You saved it, right? And so now if you were to say new blocks project, you're coming back to VexVR the next day or whenever, and you wanted to get that program back, you would click file, load from your device, and it's likely going to be saving it in your downloads folder on your device. Now you can move it into your drive if you want to, but... If you're just working with one single device, then this should be fine. So you notice I have two files in there already from when I tested it earlier. One second square, click open, and then there it is. That's really all there is to it. You know, I can add stuff, anything I want. And this is a comment, how about like that? And then I can say file save to your device and it saves it again. Now, the problem here is it can get a little bit confusing. I'm gonna say new blocks project, like I've just come in here for the first time. And what can be confusing is if I say load from my device, I'm gonna end up having a lot of files in here. So I have some choices of the way I can manage it. It's really gonna be a little bit of a personal uh, preference, how you manage your files and how you get it to actually um, you know, make sense to you. All right, for me, I would probably go based on the date modified and go on that. So one second square and then click open. And let's say I get to a place in my code where I realize I wanna kinda go in a different direction and so really I'm, I'd be starting a new program. Like, So what I would probably say is I would say save to my device boom I got it then I would come up here and I would rename it like you know v2 for version 2 like this is a big change of the way I'm gonna do it like maybe I'm no longer gonna use a second I'm actually gonna drive for a distance and I'm gonna actually you know turn and do something else it's gonna be totally different so I just you know I renamed the file or the the project name And this, it's hard to, to deal with a screen this small when you're used to a big giant, big giant screen. And now I got a little tiny screen. So let's see here. So four or 200 and then right nil, and then we're gonna do that forever. And so then if I say file, save to your device, I'll say file, new blocks project. I'll say load from my device. Now I can see I have uh, one second square, that was at 452, then 453, then 454, 455. So the timestamps help me, but also the fact that I renamed this one second square V2. That's version two. Now I know, oh, that's the one that I wanted. And then I can pull it open that way. That's pretty much file management on a Chromebook. Uh, there's really not much to it. Uh, you just have to remember that when you're saving, it should just say download to device, right? So save to device could be a little, I don't know, misleading, makes you think you're like saving your, your work and you're continuing to work on that. When in fact, what you're doing is you're downloading an instance of that at that moment in time. So every time you wanna save your file, you're actually downloading a brand new one, okay? I hope this helps. Please leave comments down below and I will respond to them as quickly as I can. 
uh, for any um, questions about using a Chromebook with VEX VR. I'm more than happy to answer those. Uh, I should probably end up doing one of these for uh, doing VEX VR on an iPad or VEX VR on um, any other device, uh, but really it is the same process on any other device. All right. Well, thanks so much for watching. You guys have a great day.